Hello listeners, this is Russell. Welcome back to channel 14. This is how to become an audiobook narrator. Top seven marketplaces for newbie narrators. Now at this point after several weeks, I hope you've been having some success on LibriVox or whatever platform or volunteer organization you've been working with. Maybe some of the moderators have picked you to pick up a few small projects here and there, which is always a nice little boost to your self-image. Hopefully, your recordings are sounding better to you as you get your breathing, your pacing, and your technique into some kind of a workable order. And if all that's true, right about now, you might be thinking, so now what? And that brings us to a bit of a jump-off point, where it's time for you to do some branching out into the wild world of voiceover. In this episode, I'm going to present to you my top seven websites that as a new audiobook narrator, you should check out and consider making use of them. We start with ACX. ACX is run by Amazon. It's linked into Audible, and it's called the Audiobook Creation Exchange. It's a place where authors and narrators can collaborate to get their audiobooks created, and from there, things get sold on Audible, on Amazon, and iTunes. Now, to get enrolled in ACX, there's no cost. There's no membership hoops to go through. You just uh, create an account, sign up, and you're ready to go. Depending on the type of job that you choose on ACX, you might get paid directly from the rights holder or from ACX. It's handled two different ways depending on the type of project. So if you choose a project on ACX that's funded as a pay per hour or per finished hour project, you'll get paid directly from the author. Uh, however, if you choose the royalty share, those payments will come from ACX and Audible directly. Next is Voice Bunny. Voice Bunny is a marketplace, again, to connect voice talent with all ilks of people who need their services. It includes a wide variety of talents, things like commercials, radio and TV spots, e-learning, and audiobook narration, as well as a lot more. Now, to get into Voice Bunny, an audition is required, and you have to pass some pretty stringent technical requirements. Uh, for members, once you are accepted, they'll match your profile to the job requests, and when you get a match, you are notified, and you can audition for the job if it interests you. There doesn't appear to be any cost when you start looking at Voice Bunny, and uh, I believe Voice Bunny does all the bookkeeping, so you don't have to worry about customers paying you. It's all handled within the service itself. Voices.com is next, and it's odd to me that all these are just labeled by their name, except for Voices. It's always Voices.com. It's not just Voices, although Voice Bunny is never referred to as VoiceBunny.com. Go figure. It is called a pay-to-play site, and there's a lot of these out there. This is one that I've looked at more than most of the others, which means you have to pay an upfront membership, and then you have a chance to get jobs and audition for jobs. It seems to be regarded at this point as one of the leaders in terms of volume and talent that are available out there, although there's been some complaints uh, within the last year or so on how they handle booking and auditioning and so forth. Now, there is a premium. could be up to $400 a year to work with Voices.com. Voice123 is another one that's very similar to Voices.com. It's, a, again, a pay-to-play service. Uh, the cost is about the same. As you listen to podcasts and some of the others, it seems that maybe Voices one, Voice123.com doesn't quite have the volume that Voices.com might have, but it is a viable alternative. A lot of people use it. One that you might be familiar with, even if you're not into voiceover yet, is Fiverr. Fiverr is free to join. It connects contractors to clients for a huge variety of services. It includes things like web design, writing, editing, music production, technical services, and, of course, voiceover work for people like us. It's a lot like looking at classified ads. The name, interestingly, is reported to come from the original idea of the site, that you could find someone to do a job for you starting at $5. Next, we have Upwork. Upwork is free to join and comes with a nice little app from which you can do all your work. It's kind of the opposite of Fiverr as far as the clients post jobs and the talent auditions. On Fiverr, you put out a posting of what you're willing to do, and people contact you if they want you to do the work for them. Uh, auditioning is really called making a proposal, and you have a certain number of contacts per month that you can use, and each 
proposal that you submit takes anywhere from one to six contacts. So it's kind of limited in how much contact you can make with people looking for work. These, most of the other sites have pretty much unlimiting auditioning or proposing for jobs. But for a fee, you can get some extra services and extra contacts within Upwork. Uh, and with the fee, they do have a rollover capability. So if you don't use all your contacts in one month, they'll roll over to the next month and you can kind of bank those for future contacts. Find Away Voices is getting more and more popular as the months go by. It is a free to join site, but it, it's very secretive. It's like a, a, the Bones Club that you're trying to get into. You're never really sure what's going on with Find Away Voices. You ap apply to them, and if you get accepted, you just wait to hear from them. Uh, they work mostly with audiobooks. You fill out a resume as you do with most places and submit up to 10 samples of your work, and then you wait. And they actually say, don't contact us, not in so many words. Don't contact us, we'll contact you. Now, if the stars align, you'll be contacted where behind the curtains, the staff is matching up the client's requests to the talent they have available. The clients will listen to your samples, and if they like what they hear, they'll ask you to perform an audition. And hopefully, if you perform that audition, they'll make you an offer. So those are seven sites, a lot of information there. And because of that, your homework assignment should be pretty clear. You don't have to get active accounts on all seven of these sites, but you should look at each of these seven, decide which ones you might want to work on. If you want to do them all, go for it. Each one has something different to offer and different approaches to how they match up clients with the freelancer. I believe on all these, you can get signed up for free. Now on sites like Voices, and voice one, two, three, you can't really do anything until you pay your membership, but you can get enrolled, you can poke around, read the uh, FAQs and so forth and learn about their platform. On the other side, are you on any of these? Let us know in the comments below. Where do you work? What have you found? Does it work for you? And if you have any questions or comments about this episode or the channel at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. You've got your homework, you've got plenty to do this week. Check out some of those sites and we'll see you next week.